Welcome to the 10th video in building my camper trailer. In this video, we're going to put on the Max Fan. I have my Max Fan here. I've taken it out of the box and now it's time to install it. Now, the first thing that I did, it comes with a package of screws. Well, I separated out the smaller screws and the screws with the white tops on them out into a separate bag so that I wouldn't get them confused in the installation. Only the longer screws are going to go on the roof. So after I've done that, now let's get ready to install it. Now the first thing I'm going to do to use as a sealant to make sure this thing doesn't leak, I've got my roll of butyl tape and I am going to put the butyl tape around the outside. All right, well, I'm going to continue this process of putting the butyl tape on, and when I'm finished, I'll turn the camera back on. All the butyl tape is on the thing. Now I'm ready to install it. Now I have my Max fan upside down on the table here. And they give us these little connectors here that go on the wires. The other end I've connected to the wires in the trailer. So once these are on, they will produce a nice connection. So to get these all in there push them up in to the connection real good then i take a crimper now that gives it a nice connection so now i'll do the same thing to the other wire okay <clears throat> i have my butyl tape on the attachment to put on the roof. My hole is 14 inches like it's supposed to be. And we have to remember to have these connections on the side, not on the front or back, because that's very important when we put the fan on. So now I set my thing down. Very good. Now I'm going to use the drill to start the holes because it's got to go through this fiberglass and the screws won't do that. All right. Now I'm using the longer screws that came with the set. One screw. Now let's do another one on the other side. Okay. Well, I'm just going to continue to drill holes and put in screws. So now you know the process. I'm going to turn off the camera and move to the next step. I've got all the screws in my mounting bracket here. And what I've done is I've raised this up all the way. So when I put it in, I can get to the screw connections. So let's turn this over and set it in there. Now, as I go to put it in, I have to put the wires in there.
is it fits over it like that and now hopefully my holes line up it seems to be in there Well, I got all the screws lined up and in the holes. It took me a little while. This thing is not easy to get lined up with all four of these screws on the side, but I got it done. So now that it's installed, I can take off the protective plastic that's on it. are looks great now let's lower it down so you can see what it looks like I'm gonna pop in the trailer well it works going down now let's watch it go up That works great. I'm happy with that. All right, I'm inside the trailer and I've got to get this on the bottom of the Max fan, but it's too large this way. So I've got to measure to see how much to get cut off of this thing. So to do that, I'm going to stick this up here. That's how it goes in. Now, let me put a mark on it. All right, so I marked it. So I can figure out how deep it goes in. I'll measure this. I'll take and I'll measure this from here to here, the mark I made, and figure that's how much room I have to cut it from the bottom up so that it'll fit. All right, well, let me go do that. I took my cover out and when I put it up there, I measured down two and three quarters inches. So when I got out there, I cut this two and three quarters inches up. So now it should work right when I put it in there. But before I put it in there, I've got to connect my wires together for my fan. Now it comes marked with one that says positive. Right here, it's the black wire, but my positive from a trailer is the red wire. So connect those two together and my negative would be the other wire so let's connect those together all right now my wires are connected so now let's put up the cover now it slides in a groove right in between everything it'll go right up now i have to tuck these wires in underneath this so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start to screw over here just to hold this thing up yeah, I'll start, I'll start another one over here 
Now these screws are not tight. They're just up there to hold this thing up while I tuck in the wires. What I think I'm gonna do is tuck the positive on one side and the negative on the other. That way they will not cross each other. Tucked in there tight. Well, now all I gotta do is tighten these screws up and it's up there. All right, it's up there. My Max Fan has been installed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of putting in the Max Fan. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.